Well, this probably should have been in the first video, but uh, on part one, but it's on this part. So I didn't think I should leave it out because some people might be interested. This is me first starting the project. Uh, as you can see, I'm making a cardboard template, templates, which I'm going to use, uh, as you'll see, to make the ABS um, little stands for the uh, for the unit. Here I'm taking the door off. It's kind of a shame I got to get rid of that, but you know, that's what it is. I saved it just in case I ever want to go back to stock, which I probably won't, but maybe the next owner will. Who knows? So here I am cutting out the ABS, scoring it with uh, an X-Acto knife. This, uh, that little Dremel uh, shaft, flexi shaft is, is really handy. Just using a little cutoff wheel on there. Here I've switched over to, looks like a burr bit. So starting to see a glue the two pieces together, well the multiple pieces together I guess. So the back of the kit is uneven because there's a dip so that you can kind of push in the iPad to kind of flip it out. And I was initially kind of cutting pieces. See here, you can see I messed up the piece and I broke it. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so I thought I could just put it back together, put some glue on there and it'd be all good. Of course, the next day I looked at it and I was like, yeah, no, not, not, gonna, not gonna fly, but. Anyway, the back of the kit is uneven, so that's kind of how I ended up with that uh, sort of uh, canted kind of stance on it, or it's kind of, there I am correcting my mistake. I'm going to chop that piece out and redo it. Anyway, that's kind of how I ended up with the angle, is because uh, it's uneven behind there, but I had to make room for the buttons and all the stuff for the, the climate control. So if you didn't know, the TT has some uh, climate control buttons that, that pull out in order to turn things on and off. So you have to make even more room than, than what's, you know, there. So, all in all, I think I ended up with like 40 millimeters, which kind of worries me at this point because I'm still not done uh, at the time of this video. And I'm, I'm hoping that I have enough room for the, you know, the shifter and whatnot. I don't need to be punching the screen and, and things like that when I'm shifting gears. So I really don't want to have to redo this. <laughs> Hopefully I, I did a good enough job to where I don't have to. I don't think I will. So here, here I am. Kind of smoothing everything out, cleaning it up. Of course, I took some material off so the piece is a little smaller than it used to be. So there's a gap. Yeah, here I am re-gluing it. <laughs> and of course, yeah, I tend to wear a bunch of glue in the process. I try not to, but it still gets all over me. Here I am tracing out the pattern I need to cut out, or at least the beginning of the pattern, to cut out the, uh, the space for the controls. So I just have the framework like I, like I wanted in the first place. So I'm taping everything off to where I think I want my cut marks to be. And then uh, you'll see I paint it just to, you know, quickly mark out what I need to cut. So that's what I'm doing here. Just taping everything off. I don't know why I'm doing such a good job because that's going to be painted later anyway, but... There we go, yeah, so we're painting that up, painting it up. 
And you'll notice I'm a genius and uh, I put this bag of wipes underneath while I'm dr dr drilling it. You'll see what happens here. It's pretty terrible. Not really, it's not the end of the world. Boom. So just snapped all my glue off and like snapped it all apart again, which is fine though. Cause I really, I kind of prematurely mounted it on there. I need it to be off of there while I'm working on it and smoothing it out. Here I am bagging up my, my wipes cause I felt guilty for messing up the package. So <laughs> I don't want them to dry out, you know? Anyway, so this is where I get the, the what, do you, what do you call it? Oscillating tool, vibrating tool. <laughs> The, the Dremel, that one just cuts. If you want to do bigger cuts, I recommend doing that than, rather than stressing the crap out of your Dremel, you know? Dremels uh, don't last very long if you try to cut big, huge plastic uh, projects with them. So that's why I like to use the, uh, the larger Dremel there. Here I am just kind of thinking. <laughs> oh, there, okay. So now we're gonna, we switch to a burr bit and we're cutting this out, cutting this out, the little shapes. And you'll see, you know, I'm not really left with much at the end of the day, you know. My goal today is to get the final shape I want to cut out for this. Uh, the uh, Soundman dash kit. Um, I need to take a little more material off of here, I think, to kind of even it out and uh, kind of smooth this all along the edges. And then on here, I had, I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video, I may have, but as you can see, the way it was sitting, and this was an accident, I actually already had this uh, CA glued to the uh, panel here, and what had happened was, when I went to drill the holes, the four pilot holes, to kind of help me take out the material here, I had this bag of wipes underneath and it was just kind of sitting here, kind of bracing this piece while I was doing it. Well, stupid me, I mean, I'm drilling through there at full speed and it caught that package and wrapped it around and yanked everything and yanked this right off, which is fine. It, it's okay, because I need to redo this anyway. I don't know if I, again, I don't know in a previous video if I said anything, but the way I did this was kind of not the best and I kind of half-assed it and I had to like fix this piece down here. So you can see I cut it into three pieces now and leveled everything out. This was sticking up and it didn't glue right. And I end up wearing more of this CA glue than anything. It's one of those things, it's like, it's bound to happen. I'm gonna get it all over my person, uh, which really sucks. Uh, it takes a real artist to, to not wear all of the glue when you're, when you're doing it. Anyway. Long story short, I had this, and it, as you can see, I don't know if you can see from this angle, maybe from that angle, um, it's kind of canted this way toward the driver, and I thought, oh, you know, actually, that's kind of good. That's how I wanted it, but I'm rethinking that. Uh, the whole car is just very uh, symmetrical, and so I want the centerpiece to be no different than that, and by that, I mean this is going to have to level out, so I'm going to have to bring this up and make it just perfectly, well, as much as I can, make it square. That way it doesn't bother my OCD later on. So that's what I, that's what I got to do, basically. Um, yeah. So I got my work cut out for me. So I gotta, that means I gotta put, what my plan is, I'm gonna cut some new ABS. I'm not gonna yank this off because it's just too much to, I'd have to, yank this off and then re-sand all the edges and stuff. What I'm gonna do is glue new panels to the inside of this, right? And then uh, build up from there. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. First thing, I've got my trusty little caliper and we are going to see what these measure.
pretty good. Just roughed up the edge so we have more of a mechanical grip when we put the bonder on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wipe this down. Let's go ahead and take the cap off. Woo! This stuff's just raring to come out. So I'm gonna grab another tip and we're just gonna go ahead and bond it on here now. At least the first stage of bonding it uh, to the unit. Uh, just to get it, you know, the, make the two pieces one for now uh, before I do another layer, I think, and reinforce the bond. That's my plan. <laughs> 